morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. It is November 9th, 2019, know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we all cross the finish line together. First Article of Interest Parliamentary Economic The 2020 budget includes unprecedented reform clauses. 1351 9th November 2019 Baghdad The Committee on Economy and Investment, the Parliamentary, on Saturday, the incomplete draft budget law for 2020 until now by the government, indicating that the government and parliament are ready to adopt reform clauses are the widest within the budget. Noting that, the government and parliament are ready to pass the budget as scheduled without entering a political debate to disrupt it. Next Article of Interest Setting up a sovereign wealth fund and industrial cities is an imperative. Saturday 9th November 2019 Baghdad Hussein Thaghab Economic specialists have put forward a number of steps that can reform the national economy and overcome the problems that limit the implementation of development trends. There were proposals to establish industrial cities in strategic areas, the establishment of a sovereign wealth fund, and support the activities of the stock market to attract regional and international capitals. Bassem Brahimi renewed his call for the establishment of a sovereign wealth fund whose aim is to isolate the public budget and the macroeconomic economy from external shocks to the global economy, as well as world oil prices, to contribute to move away from instability due to external shocks and guarantee the rights of future generations. In addition, it is an important basis for initiating projects of economic and social priority on the road to success in the process of economic development multiple goals. He added that many countries have adopted this approach and worked to establish this type of funds to achieve different objectives from one country to another, and there are countries called the Generational Reserve Fund, including Kuwait, and others called the Government Reserve Fund as in Oman, each of which aims to achieve stability economic or future savings or a combination of the two as in Norway. It is noteworthy that Abdul Hadi had stressed in this regard that, after we missed many great opportunities to diversify the Iraqi economy during the fat years, some see that we have no more left to us today and we are living economic problems only pray for oil prices to recover, is that true? I think that we still have many solutions in sovereign wealth funds one of them. Through international experiences we believe that the creation of a sovereign wealth fund in Iraq can contribute to strengthening the public budget to face cases of failures in annual revenues and faced unexpected deviations between revenues and public expenditures, with an average balance to be determined from the budget surplus continuously and invested financially as a sovereign investment portfolio, e a certain percentage of revenues deducted annually to be placed in this fund and managed according to its own law includes transparency to ensure the success of its work. Economic Sectors Financial Specialist Mohammad Ali Jaber said, The current economic situation in Iraq suffers from many problems including the decline of the basic economic sectors of production and service, in light of the continuing demands for multiple financial revenues and away from the rentier character of the national economy, as oil revenues tend to operating expenses and import their needs, accompanied this is a decline in allocations directed to important investment operations that can address a range of economic problems. Engaging Banks Jaber warned that the need to activate and support the activities of the Iraqi market for securities and support the attempts of the market to cover the shortage of liquidity, the adoption of internationally adopted methods contribute to attract capital from investors in regional and foreign countries, and the involvement of private banks and the association of Iraqi banks as well as government banks in this conference and take advantage of the banking system represents the cornerstone of the success of the national economy and its transfer to a better stage that puts it in the right position on the international regulations. He stressed that funding is the rapid engine to face the current situation, which needs real cooperation between the ministries and all government institutions especially the Central Bank of Iraq and the Ministry of Finance in order to enable the national economy to enter into this crisis. A real role, 
The most important requirements for the activation of industrial production is the establishment of advanced industrial cities, where land is allocated to each industrial that has the necessary infrastructure, and must be near the main roads and in safe areas, with a real role in the selection of sites so cities. On the challenges facing the Iraqi industrial, he said, the Iraqi market is wide and can accommodate large industries and there is a desire in this aspect by many international companies, but it requires to overcome the routine that confuses the process of completion of completion of projects. The step completed within two days outside the country needs in our circles for more than four months, and this must be overcome. Next article of interest. By order of the people, entities succeed in closing the digital site of the Ministry of Communications. 9th November 2019 Baghdad slash Iraq, the official website of the Ministry of Communications in Iraq, on Saturday, was hacked, where the parties published the following phrase on the front of the site, by order of the people. In a sign that the perpetrators of piracy, support the demonstrations in Iraq. They published a picture of the protests in Baghdad. Next article of interest. Bullets target demonstrators and warnings of Iraqi rebels taking up arms to counter Iranian militia violence. Saturday 9th November 2019 Baghdad writings We will meet the forces of oppression and murder with our breasts. We will not give up the Liberation Square unless they have taken our lives. A few words and a large number in the meaning of those announced by the Iraqi revolutionaries from the center of the capital Baghdad, after the security forces and Iranian militias committed massacres against demonstrators on the bridges. Demonstrators have declared their steadfastness on Saturday, November 9, 2019, asserting that the international community has let them down and the authorities are silent about what is happening to them. However, they warned that the continued killing will plunge Iraq into bloodshed and may encourage the rebels to take up arms to confront the killing machine that exterminates them in an unprecedented manner. With calls to paralyze the country with mass disobedience in all provinces. In the meantime, security forces and armed militias intensified the firing of live bullets and incendiary bombs on al Kalani Square, causing fires in the tents of protesters and a building, but nonetheless, the rebels continued to mobilize women, men, youth and girls to support the demonstrators on the ground. Next article of interest. Iraqi lawsuits filed with the International Criminal Court. Saturday 9th November 2019 Preparation Writings Iraqi activists and intellectuals have been able to sue the International Criminal Court in The Hague, which is not confused by the International Court of Justice. The case was finally accepted on the basis of a court letter issued on Friday, 8 November, with the support of international lawyer Mr. Maurice Isers. According to the tribunal's reporter, Ms. Janine Morgby, Iraq is not a state party to the Rome Statute and has not filed a declaration under Article 12, Paragraph 3, to accept the International Criminal Court. In accordance with Article 12, Paragraph 2, B, of the Statute, Acts committed in the territory of a state not party or within the jurisdiction of the court only if the person accused of the crime is a national of another state which has accepted the jurisdiction of the court. Based on these data, activists and their lawyers have filed a lawsuit against Mr. Adel Abdul Mahdi and his ministerial staff and advisor in their official and personal capacity as they are nationals of other countries that have accepted the jurisdiction of the ICC, France, Britain, the Netherlands, Canada, Australia, Sweden, Germany and Denmark. Dozens of video and audio files and important documents have been submitted so far, and lawyers for the case may need personal authorization from the victims' families later. Long live the rebellious Iraq and the glory of the Iraqi blood. Next article of interest. The Iraqi government defies the international community and commits mass massacres of demonstrators and rebels declaring public exile. Saturday 9th November 2019 Baghdad Writings, unprecedented massacres, killing Iraqis in the streets and squares in the tens and hundreds amid suspicious silence from the international community and unjustified failure. Activists in Iraq confirmed this on Saturday, November 9th. 
2019 doc current footage showed the extent of repression and brutal killing by government forces and Iranian militias against demonstrators in most rebellious provinces. From Karbala to Basra in Baghdad, assassinations and kidnappings do not stop, which the rebels meet with steadfastness, especially after some tribes joined to support the movement of Iraqis. Confirmed information reported by local media said that the repression and the killing machine was greatly inspired by the meetings between the Quds force commander and the head of the Arab file in the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Qasem Soleimani and the need of the popular mobilization in Iraq, headed by Abu Mahdi al-Mohans last week, which concluded the need to liquidate the revolution and the judiciary on its engines. Yet Iraqis are increasingly determined to sacrifice their blood and lives in return for liberating the homeland from its usurpers and looters. They declared the public on the streets of Baghdad to confront the killers, especially after the riot forces entered the live firing line after being supported by elements of Iranian militias. In Baghdad, between Al Sanak Bridge and Al Rashid Street, Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi's forces and militias continued to brutally strike the rebels using all means of repression and massively. More articles of interest to come. Don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Be sure to tell them that the Denarian sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.